Hi, Mary from Reviewer's Diary. I did do a one-time box with two different boxes, and I'm going to do them together. I got the Pop Sugar Must Have Mini box, and I got a Birch box. It's one that I was able to pick, so I'll go over both of these in this video. could call it like Box of the Month. I used to do those, so we could call it that. And so stay tuned. The first of the two boxes is this birch box. Now, I was really kind of playing around trying to figure out exactly what box I wanted to, did I want to keep BoxyCharm with all the full size products because my inventory was so big or did I want to get birch box and Ipsy bag instead? Ultimately decided against that and went back to BoxyCharm. I had unsubscribed for like literally three days, so there was no problem in that direction. And I kept my Ipsy bag, which it's just, I just can't, I can't see a better value. Um, Birchbox is really nice, but when I look back at what other people had gotten, I, after I got this, um, I was kind of like, I don't know, do I want to open that every month and go, Oh, so this doesn't feel like $10 worth to me. This is a good box if you're just entering the foray into beauty boxes. It's a good starter box, but so is Ipsy. I really thought about it and decided that instead I would not get this box and I would keep BoxyCharm and keep Ipsy. So I'm still, I did want to get it down to one, but well, it didn't work out that way. But they had this box that was available that had a bunch of stuff that I really like. And they're perfect size because I'm going to Florida and I thought, what a freaking fabulous $10 box has Laura Geller and Marcel. Like two of my absolute favorite brands. So I'm gonna go over what's in this box. Of course the box is beautiful, but I don't really put much stock in the boxes because I don't save them. Uh, I guess I could use it as a gift box if I put like a big giant sticker or something over the top so somebody doesn't think they're getting a birch box as a gift. That would be a real letdown. Uh, there is a 20% off, what is this, I'll show it after. And this is a springtime box, and of course it's got all the stuff on the back, and I'll go over this stuff after I go over what's in this box. Okay. This is all stuff I can take on my trip to Florida. And I'm going to go over each of these products so that you know what I got, and I will go over what's on the card. This micellar water from Marcel is really awesome. It's cruelty free. Marcel is a cruelty free company and it costs about the same as Bioderma. Now currently Bioderma is being investigated by Logical Harmony. They're kind of on, as of today, they're kind of on her wait and see list, but I'm pretty sure they sell in China. So I have a big giant bottle of Bioderma that I have to use up, but in the interim, I also have a full size micellar water from Marcel and I love it. Absolutely love it. So I was very happy to get this travel size because this will last me through my entire Florida vacation. Very nice. Next thing and another favorite product is Laura Geller. And it's a Laura Geller blush and it's in Tropic Hues. Look at that. It's got a slight shimmer of gold in there. Now, is that not the perfect color for a Florida vacation? Uh, if it's not, I just don't know what is. Both of those items are cruelty free. Toka is also cruelty free and this is a hand cream. And honestly, this is almost like a full size to me. It's only one fluid ounce, but I've had these last me forever and I have a giant one that's like taking too long. You know, when you get to the point where it's taking too long to use your hand lotion, you're like, oh, I'm so sick of this, but <laughs> not this. This is really good stuff. 
Um, I already did my research on Parlor when we got a Parlor item before, and yes, it is cruelty free. And this is what is this? Oh, some kind of spray. Volumizing spray. Today I don't need volumizing spray, but there are days that I do need some volumizing spray. And there is one other item in here, and this is not cruelty free. This is Dr. Jart, and it is Lift Ultra. So that'll be interesting to try, but I'll never buy it. So now I'm going to go over the box, um, what was in there and what the coupon code is because I'm never going to use it and so some of you might as well use it. This is a 20% off your next order at Rifle Paper Company. Use the code below at checkout. Well it does have the first two initials of my last name. I'm not sure if they're customized or not. I would have to look at somebody else's box. But Yep, that is the 20% off code. Feel free to use it because I'm never going to use it. I'm really never going to use it. Okay, now what the card says, I really do like Birchbox. Oh well. Um, hi there, from Sprouting Buzz to the first blah, 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 happy spring, la, 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 la. It's a long thing. I'm not going to read the whole thing to you. Make it bloom, blah, 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 bring your garden inside, blah, 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 blah. DIY paper flowers. Okay, not doing that. Now, to the card. The micellar water from Marcel. It says, removes makeup, cleanses skin, soothes irritation, and natural ingredients like aloe and cucumber. That is all true, and that is awesome stuff. The full size is $21, and it's worth every penny of that $21. Next thing on the card is this Dr. Jart, and this is Ultra Lift. Let's see how many ounces. I actually did not tell you how many ounces are in here. This is 50 mLs, um, which is, it's very hard to read the writing blue on clear. 1.7 ounces. This Dr. Jart, it's contour cream liftra 5 ml 0.17 ounces uh, full size I don't know what size how much is in the full size I'll have to look it up but the full size is $60 why all right, but anyway, Dr. Jart's not cruelty free. I'll never be spending that $60, but I will enjoy trying that. Laura Geller, New York. Cruelty free, darling. Love Laura Geller. Anything. Baked blush and brighten, and brighten. Full size is $28. I will show you what a full size Laura Geller is like. Here's a full size. Here's the travel size. Yes, I love Laura Geller. I think right now Laura Geller and Smashbox are my favorite cosmetics. I love how this has this little gold shimmer. Um, and actually, just for comparison purposes, a full size is 0 0.17 ounces or 5 grams. Heavy. This one is 0 0.04 ounces or... Is that 1.2 grams? Yep, 1.2 grams. So the full size was five grams and this is like one fifth of the full size. And honestly, you have to be careful when you use Laura Geller blush because it's very easy to accidentally put it on too much, like too heavy. This is just like so beautiful. And this is a color I don't have, so I'm really happy. I do have a ton of Laura Geller blush, but I don't have this one tropical hues. So the full size is $28. Yeah, I have a whole bunch of the large ones, but the way to buy these products is to buy the value sets that have a whole bunch of stuff in them. Because you get you end up with a bunch of huge blushes that you're never going to be able to use up, but <laughs> they're like awesome. Next thing is this Parlor Spray 
Now I already have a whole bunch of styling products on my hair, but maybe I will try this just to give you an idea of what it smells like. Ooh, it smells really nice. This would take the place of my salt sea spray. So I'll take this with me on vacation. This is one fluid ounce, which is a generous amount, and the full size is $24. Of course, it does not say how big the full size is, but it's $24. It just smells really nice. And finally, the last thing is this Toka Cream. I think the full size one is two ounces. This is one ounce. Um, the full size is $20. Loaded with natural botanicals, green apple and pink tulip lotion absorbs in a flash. Let's see what that smells like. I did not test that for you. It's a white cream. It's pretty thick. Yeah, it's like pretty nice. Ooh, it strokes right in. It feels like, you know, a really good moisturizer sometimes feels like water. That's what this feels like. Uh, I'm this. I'm taking all of this except the doc, Dr. Jar with me on my trip to Florida. Very nice. Very happy. Now we have one more unboxing to do. The reason I'm doing two in one is because this Pop Sugar Mini is kind of a disappointment. Now this is the very first month, I think, where they've had the mini box. And a mini box after taxes cost me about $20. There's stuff in there I don't care for. It's only two things. Um, I don't hate them, like I'll use them, but I'm um, like not like, wow, I'm not wowed by this. I subscribed and as soon as this shipped, I quit. And so I won't be getting another box, which is fine with me because even though I'm gonna miss my birch box, I am not gonna miss the Pop Sugar mini box. So let me show you what's in here. And of course it says surprise, love, enjoy, Pop Sugar. I like the full size box. It's just too expensive, $39.99. It's just too much money. So. It comes with this little book and it has the two items in it that are in here. It also comes with a discount card. I will read this off. And the first thing, and the thing that is like probably good is this lip bloom. Wow. Maybe I like this better than I thought. But anyway, here it is. And I'll go over that. It's got a really cool box. Next thing is, next and only thing, is a candle. Now, you know I love candles. I now can burn candles in my office. So I like getting a candle. I don't love getting a candle. And it is a white melon candle. Does it smells exactly like melon. All right, so let me pull out the card and read what is on here. That's it, seriously. That's two things for 20 bucks. I don't know that I would spend $20 on what I got in this box. All right, so welcome, welcome to the must have mini box. I'm so excited to, I think this is the first one, to announce the launch of Must Have Mini, our newest monthly subscription. I'll be curious to see what other people get because I'm not resubscribing, but who knows? Usually when I unsubscribe from something, something great comes the next month. The first thing is the lip bloom. I could not get it back in the box. <laughs> So here it is in here. And Pharmacy's unique variant of Echinacea works with natural seed oils to form protective barrier that leads to softer, fuller lips. The pro tip is apply a lip stain before dabbing this balm on. You know lip stains really stink. I hate lip stain because it dries to like cement texture. Um, at least the ones I've 
I've used. So I can see that putting this on after a lip stain would be a really good idea. Let's see what this is like. Okay, it's a lip balm in a jar. It smells good, but it's a lip balm in a jar. I'm sure this is a very nice company, but a lip balm in a jar. This probably costs a fortune, so I should be nicer about it. I'm just not that crazy about it. I'll look it up and let you know what that costs. Next thing is the Green Market Purveying Company White Melon Pantry Candle. Uh, it says, hand poured small batches by a U.S. artisan Ch 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 Chandler. Is that what candle makers are called? Um, fresh melon, sweet peach, zesty citrus, comforting vanilla, pro tip, open windows and light our candle on a breezy day to quickly spread its aroma through your home. Or you could just put on your ceiling fan on real low. It's very full. Oh, it smells good. What's really cool is these are numbered. So this one was poured number 19 of 30. It says handmade by Green Market Purveying. So that is my somewhat of a disappointing box. I kind of expected more because I've gotten pop sugar and I've gotten stuff like a $75 scarf, which unfortunately, in retrospect, I shouldn't have, but unfortunately, I did trade it away. Kind of wishing I kept it, but, you know, I was just foolish and didn't um, keep it. But I'm not sure that this box is worth what they charge. You kind of come to expect at least double your money, and I guess this is almost double your money but you kind of come to expect that the full-size pop sugar box um, is usually way expensive stuff is in there um, I've had boxes that are, were valued as much as $150 for my $39 so to get this and I kind of expected more uh, maybe I'm wrong maybe I should have not expected more than two items and Maybe the next boxes will be better. I don't know, but I'm not wild about it. So I hope you enjoyed these two unboxings. Birchbox, loved it. $10, got all these great products that only one of them wasn't cruelty free. And it's tiny, so it's not a biggie. Um, but all stuff I'm going to take on my trip to Florida. I might even take this from the Pop Sugar box to Florida with me. I'm not wild about lip balms. I have so many. So anyway, thank you for watching. This has been Mary with Reviewer's Diary with a collection of two boxes um, that are just box a month type of things because I'm not getting them again. So thanks and have a beautiful evening. Good night.